is there's some guy in front of me really drunk and <laughs> singing along and, and turning around to me and going, Wah. and then after a little while I was like, it's Woody Harrelson. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me for this week's episode of The Gracie Note. I'm here with British rockers, the temperance movement. Damon, uh, I'm a token Australian and drummer in the band. <laughs> I'm Phil, I'm known for my singing in the band, but I do a good uh, merch table display. I'm Nick, I play the bass and then I document everything that happens on my GoPro cameras. We do most things ourselves. Mm. Yeah. You can have to do it. We even, it wrote, some, we even wrote some songs. And have you have you guys been playing a lot of stuff off the new album, off White Bear? Sure, of course, and of course. Any any in Canada, any tracks that have stood out to you that has been a really big reaction? I think the rain seems to have been yeah? going down very well. Played a song called Sun and the Moon mm -hmm. last night and that that goes down really well too, so Canadians have good taste, it seems. <laughs> well, we like to think so. Speaking of which, on, on White Bear itself, I, <laughs> my favorite track is actually the title track. You just did a music video for it, which looked like an awesome performance. Yeah, I did that. Wow. You did the whole yeah, bit? You I, filmed I, it? I, no, I didn't. I had oh, nothing to do with so that. Oh, so excited! No it, was, no, it was actually a friend of mine, Stephen Sebring, who is a fantastic yeah, filmmaker. Yeah, it's really, really cool. And he's, he's developed this incredible system to, mm. to get that effect. The 360 and yeah. everything? That, that was so cool. And in the song itself, um, my favorite lyric is, uh, the high price of, of for wisdom, do your best until the best comes along. Yeah, I said that was actually something that uh, was featured in. Um, it was actually from uh, Sonic Highways. Um, it was something that Dave Grohl said. Um, that amazing. was uh, in relation to an artist that you love. He's uh, going to be after you. It was in the, I just thought it was, I just thought it was <laughs> a great, I just thought it was a great sentiment, and, it, and it it's often and often when I'm singing it in certain towns in America, particularly when I was when we were in um, a New Jersey, mm -hmm. it's the kind of sentiment there that works. You know, that, you, that we only hear what we're doing, we're just here and passing and we've just got to do our best, you know, yeah. before we come after us, it'll be better that, or whatever. That's so cool, and it's so cool. And in, which we mentioned before, Lorraine, that you said it was having a good reaction in Canada. What was wow. that recording process like? It, it evolved over quite a long time, yeah. actually, because we were playing it around, I remember playing it around Europe and it sounded very different. Then. Before 2016? Yeah, 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 yeah way before we ever It used to sound it. like the Allman Brothers or something. It was like a sort of... <laughs> in that, that, that group, it, it, this is like a sort of band playing, yeah. like a rock and roll band playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It kind of turned into Beastie Boys. Yeah, yeah it, it's just so fun. It's so fun to, to jump around to and everything. It must be... I think that's why people like it. People yeah. like to dance. They like to have something they can jump around yeah. to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and, and that is... Uh, that is something that we like to promote our shows is good times and dancing because that's really what the, the point of the thing is. You mentioned a couple artists like Beastie Boys and Dave Grohl so far that you were fans of. Any any Canadian artists that uh, you've grown up listening to or can remember? Neil was Neil Young was uh, was massive in my life and maybe from from listening to Harvest and mm -hmm. and uh, the great sort of um, <coughs> mid sixties to. Yeah, the 70s periods, his, his, his like, group with Buffalo Springfield and, and his uh, connection with Jody Mitchell. I love all of that. Mm. Very, very much. I was a big fan of, of Robbie Robertson. Okay. Yeah, the, um, um, the, the solo record. And then I worked backwards from there and discovered that he was in this incredible yeah, band. Like, and I was like, why, what was I wasting my time with uh, that? Some, <laughs> some no, it's so bad. Yeah, no, what's the record? Uh, um, the showdown at Big Sky, maybe, that one? And, and it's very produced. It doesn't sound anything like the band, mm -hmm. but um, it's some fantastic guitar playing. But yeah, when I discovered the band, I was, I was hooked. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Anyone for you? Yeah. Justin Bieber. Ah. Just he is worth mentioning for sure. Mm -hmm. I don't know. He's notable. Yeah, he takes Alanis, he takes risks. Alanis, we were staying. We, yeah, oh, we, we were staying. Well, we our changing room was her old flat. Her, her really? Old, uh, her old apartment. 
that, was, she, that she had for the thing mm. yeah, was, last night. I was considering mm. having a bath in her bathroom. <laughs> she had, she had <laughs> well, a great, there was a great, well, it was a great bathroom. Where, where was this? Where was this at? It's Tattoo it's Sound like a sort of, she, 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 she oh, lived for a time in the studio and hid and 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 there when she was kind of getting quite famous. And uh, there's a little apartment there. Mm-hmm. So and cool. we were using it to change her shoes or whatever. You also got invited to play for one of the, the biggest rock bands in the world, the Rolling Stones. What was that like in, in 2014? You know, I think most of us in the group were kept out of the loop until the until the email from the Stones came through. We had been in, Z- in Zurich, which strangely was where we did the first show with. with okay. Them. We were in Zurich, and and this and and Paul, mm-hmm. who's not here alone, got he had an email saying. Do you guys fancy supporting the Rolling Stones? And we're like, well, of course we would. Of course we would like to. Right? Um, and so there was this sort of, we were having something to eat and we were all getting excited about it. I can't imagine what it would be like if we actually support them. But yeah. none of us thought that it would ever happen. We were like, well, yeah, that's not going to happen. Yeah. And, uh, and then and we, we got a message from Mick that he wanted us to come oh, on. Yeah, Incredible. Because they still do things like that. It's like, yeah, I met, met, met sort of get us in touch with you. It's, it's like quite a sort of proper. <laughs> what was that audience like? Was that the biggest audience you'd ever played yeah, for? for me, oh, wow. Absolutely. Well, they have at their shows, and so there was a ga- gathering audience of up to 50,000 people that were there. Oh, when, so when we were there, there was a, there was a big, massive crowd. All, they were all sort of coming in. It's so big. It's like looking out to sea. <laughs> It's like looking out to the horizon. There's a hundred yards like. before there's the first person, you know. This. Right. What is it like facing a crowd like that, and you, where you can't see till the last person? Once you get beyond a certain size, yes. it, it, it kind of doesn't really make any difference how many people yeah. there are, are out there. You know, a big gig's a big gig, but when, you know, in a stadium, like that, and you're supporting the Rolling Stones. You look behind you, and there's the Rolling Stones set. Logos and, you're, and oh my gosh, and you're, it's, so, it's so surreal that it doesn't really sink in till the day after. Mm-hmm. You do the show, and you have a great show, and you go, "Wow, that was great!" And then the next day, you're like, I can't "Oh my god, that actually <laughs> happened!" And we we did our show, and then we just went, and all our families had come out, and so oh, we wow. were. Uh, we, after the show, we just got some drinks and went down right into the sort of golden circle. And we're just mm-hmm. dancing around, just having the most amazing time. That, that, that was that was fun, and I remember standing there with my wife and we were taking photos. And is there some guy in front of me, really drunk, and <laughs> singing along and, and turning around to me and going, Wah! and then after a little while, I was like, it's Woody Harrelson. <laughs> no! And he's like, Wah! I mean, he was roaring drunk, having the most. The brilliant. time of his life, yeah, having just a the time. time. Oh, of course you are. That's amazing. That's incredible. Thank you guys so much for sharing those stories those, and those tour stories with me. Have a wonderful stay in Ontario, yeah. and hopefully all the Canadians have been kind to you. You can find White Bear on iTunes and on Amazon. You can find The Temperance Movement on thetemperancemovement.com and follow them on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for Thank you. Amazing. Amazing. Thank Thanks. you so much. And for our audience, we always try to be graceful. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> awesome.